Namaskar, everybody, respected chairman of this session, uh, all other dignitaries and all delegates, my humble pranams. Let me start my presentation uh, from a particular sentence which has been quoted by our honorable keynote speaker, Dr. Vinay Sasarabuddhiji. He was saying about uh, a team of youngsters from abroad visited Bharat under the auspices of ICCR. And one of the Jamaican members was asked, what do you feel about Bharat and what are you expecting from us to do? That Jamaican representative said that India must tell its stories. So I have to start from that. Are there any stories with us to tell to the whole world? Are there any stories which has been clearly taught to us in our, through our history books, the so-called formal official text? I know the next session is about the fallacies which has been ek prakar se amare upar dhopa gaya. Those uh, false stories ke baare mein batane wala hai, Neeraj ji. So I don't want to go much deep into that. But I would like to quote about the stories of Bharat, what happened to it by quoting a famous novelist named Ben Okri. I don't know whether I have already quoted it before this very same uh, sabha. You may be, many of you may be knowing about Ben Okri, who was a Booker Prize winner, wrote a lot of novels and Almost every novels and his writings are, most of all, most of them are centered on culture, values, roots, and everything. He was once, some four or five years back, he was invited to the most illustrated uh, or most ornamented, I saw some kuch sakte hai, Jaipur Lit First. The organizers of the Jaipur Lit First might have thought that this man is a black man got a Booker Prize, maybe of our creed or uh, race. So they invited him for, a, for an interaction there in Jaipur. You are all aware about the organizers of Jaipur. First, I don't want to elaborate much about them. Uh, so, but the thing just became ups, upside down when Ben Okri started speaking. He spoke that my prayer and my inspiration for writing uh, was from your scriptures. Mahabharata, Ramayana, Panchatandra, all inspired me to write. He quoted so many examples. Of course, just like old men were being taken to vote for polling station on the election day, lekar jane ke liye bhoot sare log hote hai, lekin vote karne ke baad, wapas kharpe lane ke liye koi nahi hoga. That was a plight of Benokri after that speech. He came to Delhi. He addressed the media men, in which the media men also asked about what happened to your history. We think uh, that uh, it, it has got some sort of resemblances, similarities about our Bharat, because colonialists were there also, here also. So something has happened to the history. Then he made a wonderful statement. I'm quoting him. To poison a nation, poison its stories. A demoralized this nation tells demoralized the stories to itself. Beware of the storytellers who are not fully conscious of the importance of their gifts and who are irresponsible in the application of their art. They could unwittingly help along the psychic destruction of their people. So if you want to destroy a nation, destroying the nation is very easy by poisoning the stories. Stories means history. If the stories of a nation is being poisoned, what will happen? What, is the res what will be the result of the demoralized stories or contaminated stories? The nation starts 
talking or speaking or telling these demoralized stories to itself. That is the greatest danger. Swayam kahana praram karte hai. And he was saying, beware of the people who are, who are given the responsibility to tell the stories. That means historians. As far as we are concerned, the historians are given the responsibility to tell the true stories. Beware of them who are not responsible and those who are telling the false poisonous stories to contaminate the generation. And ultimately it will lead to the psychic destruction of the nation. Actually, we are facing, I'm, I'm bluntly saying, still now, we are facing such a dangerous situation. We are starting hypnotizing ourselves. We have started telling these poisonous, demoralized stories to ourselves. Why? Those people who, are, who were given the responsibility to tell the true stories, they started telling us the poisonous stories. They started teaching us that Bharat is not a nation. Bharat's history is not that a what you say, uh, something to be logized, something to be respected. There is nothing to be, uh, what you say, uh, remember about our stories. Why it was happened? You know, uh, the colonial masters, actually they started writing history of Bharat. I'm giving this uh, background to enter into our Swaraj 75. To understand the necessity of the Swaraj 75 campaign. I am not going to put it in, in a pakka 100% academic style. You were hearing so many academic speeches. Now, here emotions will be more in this speech. So, British people, the colonial masters, faced a big, big, huge problem in administering, ad, administrating Bharat. The main, the main problem was about the young civil service officers who came here when they have to deal with the ordinary chaprasis or their clerks or their attendants, they face the huge problem that these so-called lower level officers are having a higher level culture, knowledge, wisdom, culture, everything. And their bhasha, their language, their scriptural knowledge. And because of that background, these so-called officers whom they have to deal or through uh, whom to uh, administer, uh, administrate this nation, the rule. They have to rule them through those Indians, Bharatiyas, having a higher level of culture and uh, uh, all sort of knowledge and wisdom. And the English people, English officers who came here, they found that our culture and our literature and our language is much inferior to Bharatiyas. So it made a bigger, huge problem. I am, uh, just as Dr. Jay Sangarji, uh, Sriman Jay Sangarji was telling, he was talking about the technical aspects and in a simple way. I am also trying to simplify the issue. See, why they started the writing history of Bharat? The main purpose was to belittle Bharat. The main purpose was to place English at a higher pedal. A pedestal to increase our con increase their confidence level and to increase our inferiority complex. That was the main purpose. There was nothing else. It has been given to the English officers as their study material. To complete their civil service examination, they have to uh, study, learn about Bharat through these history books. One of them was James Mill's History of British India. I am quite sure that the, almost any, everyone who are participating here as delegates or guests might have gone through that book. At least the preface written by James Mill. James Mill has got two claims. In the beginning itself he was saying that, say, I am writing an objective history. I am writing a critical history. I have got a right to write this. That was his claim. In, in short, in the preface itself he was saying. What was... What was his uh, claim? He was writing a objective history, critical history of Bharat. Of course, how he made it, you know. He divided the whole history of Bharat into three. 
ancient medieval and uh, modern history many of the former uh, speakers have mentioned about all these things in in short the medieval history has been termed as the dark history of bharat medieval history is predominantly hindu history there was nothing to say something about that it was dark in every sense of the word no knowledge no wisdom fighting each other trying to cut the heads of others head hunters were here the tribal people were head hunters all sort of stupid things were stuffed into the medieval history uh, i'm sorry ancient history then the transformation started coming along with the colonial mughal masters advent advent bharat mein mughal log aane ke saath saath thoda sa परिवर्तन का प्रकाश आना प्रारंभ किया इट वॉज एन एरा ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इट वॉज एन एरा ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन द फर्स्ट वन विच वॉज हिंदू हिंदू एरा वॉज अ डार्क एज सेकेंड वॉज एन एरा ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन यू नो टिल नाउ मेनी ऑफ द सो कॉल्ड हिस्टोरियंस एंड सो कॉल्ड लिबरल इंटेलेक्चुअल स्टार्टेड सेइंग दैट दिस इस्लामिक आर्ट मुगल आर्ट कविता शेरी ये सब बातें मुगल लोगों के वजह से इस्लामिक कॉलोनियल आक्रमण के वजह से हमको मिला है दैट इज द in short you can say like that and then complete change okay the era of enlightenment came as and when the so called british people came or the colonial masters came in short it was how how it comes a what you say an objective history was it true no he was saying he is writing a critical history where he criticizes whom he criticizes only the so called bharatiya culture bharatiya culture the ancient culture the eternal religion it has been criticized so criticism was also selective pick and choose and then he said that he has got every right and qualification to write this write this history what was those two qualification one he himself was saying i never visited bharat bharat mein wo aaye nahi hai kabhi bhi second qualification what was the qualification he don't know any of the bharatiya languages actually hamare bharat ke pehla jo swatantrata milne ke baad ke pehle bahut sare education ministers ko 50% qualification tha james mill ke jaisa wo to bharat mein rahe isliye 50% nahi 50% kya hai bharatiya bhasha nahi malum tha pehle wala jo bahut sare education ministers ko dekhiye this history actually the british india's history or colonial masters who wrote the history has been repeated like anything by the so called official historians of bharat i'm saying whether there was no uh, effort made by in bharatiya rashtra bhakta patriot historians yes there were so many historians who tried to correct this one example is jadunath sarkar he tried to correct the medieval history and he said that mughal uh, rule was not that simple it was aurangzeb rule and jasiya uh, tax everything he has been he has mentioned i don't want to go much deep into that our neeraj ji is very much expert in those historical facts okay so then when we got independence bharat jo swatantra ban gaya tha us samay mahatma gandhi ji was alive Sardar Patel was there. Rajan Babu was in the key position because of their insistence. The first government appointed R. C. Majumdar, the doyen of history of Bharat, Indian Bharat history, or Bhishma Acharya of historiography of Bharat, has been given the responsibility to write the history of Indian freedom struggle. We are now dealing with the freedom struggle of Bharat. Suraj Pachatar. Suraj 75 is all about the great indian independence struggle the landmark movement was it not been recorded correctly yes it was recorded correctly under the leadership of the mighty leadership of the able leadership of rc majumdar he started writing with the help of psych hundreds of historian historical uh, stu, history students research scholars all social scientists political scientists it was a huge army under rc majumdar and the work was started at that time it was very much easy to write the true history of bharat independence struggle why it was in 1950s 50s means what those who led the indian independence struggle were alive at that point of time it was that easy taking from them the first hand information and writing a history was that easy 
but what happened when the first draft has draft has been submitted to the topmost leaders i don't want to name anyone topmost leaders after reading the first draft immediately they took a decision to dismantle that committee in short time see wo ek prakar se majundar ko bhi malu ho gaya hoga shayad isliye wo us committee se bahar ho gaya and he did the work and continued the work privately with the help of his students and research scholars and the indian government appointed one another gentleman from tehran who was ambassador there in iran for 5 years has been given the responsibility to write the history of indian independent struggle let me say bluntly correctly that the left islamo leftist history writing started from there in a way i don't find much difference in tarachan's history of bharat indian independence struggle and the other colonial masters in indian independence history that's why we are still following those history which has been given the books which has been written by the colonial masters for their benefit every government or any master will try to continue his rule forever for that purpose they will do anything for that purpose they wrote history also but what is the purpose of our government to continue those history in another form format that's why still we are telling our children that we are not true indians we came from somewhere else we are the successes of the aryans who attacked bharat we are not true bharatiyas such a generation who is learning things in this way this poisonous way how can we instill patriotism into them this poisonous history is being on and off and report repeated and we are still learning that aryans came from outside defeated the dravidians and dravidians defeated the adivasis so this is a satra bharat is a lodge bharat is a satra so many people came from outside they inhabited here so no one can claim that this is their motherland this is the way in which the colonial masters taught us in other way we are still repeating it through this way they have created some narratives false narratives regarding the swatantrata sangram independence struggle also when we are celebrating swaraj pachhatar it is very easy to conduct so many events bada karyakram karna bahut aasan hai but is it sufficient at this juncture of the history to celebrate it by conducting some organizing some bada events i think as far as this community is concerned our duty is to create the true history and taught this true history to the coming upcoming generation isko lekar hum gaav gaav tak jana hai main yahan sangathan ke pratinidhi is roop mein bhi khada hu isliye main prabuddha bharat ke sabhi karyakartaon ko step to ek biennial event jaisa hum karte hain but we shall not be satisfied by conducting this biennial event we have to go through we have to continue we have to do some uh, programs in which villagers students college students university students must be participated all over karnataka and even i would uh, uh, i am uh, trying to say and also giving you a responsibility if you can go south of north karnataka if you can go to nearby states also with this message the true narrative of bharat ke swatantrata sangram see is it not a fact that if you are asking some students to name few independence struggle leaders how many of them will say how many of them will say about veera martanda varma how many of you are remembering such a name how many of them are remembering velutambi dalava velutambi dalava and martanda varma are from kerala how many of them are ready to say correctly palashi raja pronounce palashi raja how many of them are ready to say something about piker revolution how many of those history students even i dare to say history students even know about the piker revolution how many of them are remembering the name of name of such great leaders who fought against alluri krishna ram ram raju 
many such great leaders who devoted who surrendered their very life for the emancipation of this great land were forgotten such forgotten heroes and heroines are to be taken their stories are to be taken to the public that is our duty why i am saying this see the false narratives which have been created by the colonial masters independence struggle ke bare mein batane ke samay they used to say see indian independence struggle was actually some people are saying it was started in 1885 man why one political party was i am not talking about politics just our honorable governor saab ka was saying i am just stating some facts some people are still in the evening discussions in the tv if there are some nationalist part, nationalist members or nationalist uh, uh, vichar rakhne wale log hai to kuch party ke log hamesha kehte dekhiye national movement started only in 1885 why one political party was started by an englishman in 1885 then started in indian independence was it true then what was 1857 1857 happened 28 years before that but was it the first indian independence struggle ah many of us are saying that it was the first indian independence struggle i am not joining with them it was not the first independence struggle if so where will you put kittur rani chennamma kittur rani chennamma british east india company ke विरुद्ध में लड़े हुए महान वीरांगना है रानी है जब वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड वॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट द स्टैंडर्ड और द लेवल ऑफ वीमेनहुड वेदर वीमेन कैन बी कंसीडर एज मैन और नॉट ह्यूमन बीइंग और नॉट वेदर द वीमेन हैव गॉट आत्मा और नॉट दिस दोस डिस्कशंस वर गोइंग ऑन देयर कित्तूर रानी चन्नम्मा ऑर्गेनाइज्ड द वीमेंस आर्मी एंड फाइटिंग अगेंस्ट ब्रिटिश ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी अब्बका रानी इन उल्लाल she organized the women's army and fighting against portugal velu nachiar of shivaganga the mahila rani she was organizing the many 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 attacks on british and our court nawab see so we can't say that it was started in 1885 it was started in 1857 one day if you want to say our struggle against western colonialist started in 1498 itself when for in 1498 portugal force under the leadership of uh, vasco da gama reached the kapad beach of calicut when at the very moment when the samurin the raja hindu raja of samurin samurin means samutri samutri means samudra giri means samudra se lekar sagar tak ka jo land ka rule karne wala hindu raja when he came to know that this people came not just for trade that was also a false narrative created by these masters they were saying that dekhiye ye colonial masters actually came here for trade trade yani aapke liye bhi fayda mein hai give and take hai isliye wo log aaye trade ke liye aapke fayda mein lekin idhar aane ke samay unko laga dekhiye bhartiya log itna kharab hai अनसिविलाइज्ड है एजुकेशन नहीं मिला है विस्डम नहीं है आपस में लड़ते हैं भाषा प्रांत राज्य ये सब लेकर आपस में लड़ने वाले इन लोगों को जानवर के जैसे जीने वाले भारतीय लोगों को सिविलाइजेशन देने के लिए हमारा दायित्व तो है सो इट्स ए डिवाइन ड्यूटी ऑफ आवर्स डिवाइन ड्यूटी ईश्वर ने हमको दिया है दायित्व तो। ऐसा कहकर ट्रेड को बाजू में रखकर उन्होंने हमको सिविलाइजेशन देना प्रारंभ किया दैट इज अनदर नरेटिव so they gave us education they gave us modern education english education industry agricultural methods bharat ko bharat ko sahi kheti karne ka vidhi bhi unhone diya hai that's why they announced the forest law and banned the poor tribal agriculturists to uh, cultivate in forest and they gave us the uh, what you say एक फसल वाला खेती उन्होंने हमको सिखाया है भारत के वैरायटी ऑफ सीड्स हैव बीन बैंड एंड हैव बीन डिस्ट्रॉयड बाय देम बट द नैरेटिव इज जस्ट लाइक दिस दे गेव अस ओल्ड ये बिलीफ रखने वाले बहुत सारे लोग हैं जी अभी भी है मैं ये तो कल्पना से नहीं बता रहा हूं कुछ साल पहले भारत से एक गणमान्य व्यक्ति को ऑक्सफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी डॉक्टरेट दिया वो डॉक्टरेट लेने के लिए वो गणमान्य व्यक्ति वो भारत के शीर्षस्थ पद में रह चुके हैं वो सामान्यतः भारत के अंदर बहुत ज्यादा बात नहीं करते हैं बाहर जाकर यहां मौन में रहते हैं लेकिन बाहर जाकर बहुत सारे बात करते हैं 
highly educated man and he went there and got that honorary doctorate after receiving that honorary doctorate the gentleman spoke a reply speech i think it is still available in google isme hai aap dekh lijiye unhone reply diya aur reply mein unhone bataya dekhiye i can say that we owe uh, means abhi jo hamare uh, jo adarniya kulapati ji ne einstein ka quote we owe to indians aisa karke bataya lekin this gentleman wahan jo bataya we owe to you bharat kyon humko education dene ke karan humko sab kuch dene ke karan aapko aapse hum rinabadh hai kyunki modern education industry freedom of expression law administration ye sab aapne humko sikhaya hai how shameful is this this has happened recently and it has been uttered by the personality who held the top position in bharat and so called english educated personality this is vishwas ye bhi ek false narrative hai another thing they are saying see bharat ka swatantrata sangram it was not a pan indian phenomenon it was a predominantly north indian urban based english educated savarna affair and also male affair this is the narrative another false narrative which they have created north india mein hua towns mein urban based hua savarna logon ne kiya english educated logon ne nedurte kiya and most of them were male yani purush log mahila nahi hai backward community nahi hai साउथ और नॉर्थ ईस्ट आपके कर्नाटक को भी ज्यादा हिस्सा नहीं है इंडिपेंडेंस सेगमेंट में एज पर देयर नरेटिव सो दिस टाइप ऑफ नरेटिव इज स्टिल एग्जिस्टिंग हियर इज दिल एंड आई वुड लाइक टू से अनदर एस्पेक्ट दैट इज द रियल इंस्पिरेशन इंस्पिरेशन ऑफ दिस इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस स्ट्रगल मेनली वी आर हियरिंग एंड वी आर रिपीटिंग ऑफ रिपीटिंग दैट आवर इंडिपेंडेंस स्ट्रगल वाज इंस्पायर्ड बाय द पॉलिटिक्स for the political freedom we fought this is how this false narratives belittling our great landmark landmark movement maine jo bataya our independence struggle was not a short one wo bahut lambe samay se chalte aa rahe hai independence struggle hai there is no doubt about that lot of independence struggles in localized areas it all happened yes there may not be a political leadership at the center a national leadership at the center but there was a force there was a value to inspire them to fight against the paradharmis what was that force i am coming to the last point the true inspiration what was the inspiration that was swa when we are thinking about swaraj when we are thinking about swadesh when we are thinking about talking about swatantrata etymologically if you are analyzing that word there are two words in it swa plus tantra swa plus desh swa plus dharma everything swa is the first word what's the meaning what's the meaning of swa self or selfhood or identity so selfhood was there in each and every word actually when we are analyzing our independence struggle we will get lot of examples to prove this that bharat's independence struggle was inspired that swa inspired by the swa content of this great rashtra it was a fight for selfhood isliye marshi arbindo ne marshi arbindo ke bahut mahatvapurn ek quotation i would like to quote here before you when we he was speaking about indian independence struggle and defining explaining about the indian independence struggle clearly i would like to state here that marshi arbindo was the greatest philosopher who clearly defined the indian independence struggle bharat ka swatantrata sangram he said i am taking some lines i am quoting the task we set task means independence struggle the independence struggle we set before ourselves is not mechanical but moral and spiritual we aim not at the alteration of a form of government but at the building of up of a nation of that task politics is a part of that task politics is a part 
but only a part only a part we shall devote ourselves not to politics alone not to social questions alone not to theology or philosophy or literature or science by themselves but we include all this in one entity which we believe to be all important the dharma the national religion which we also believe to be universal there is a mighty law of life a great principle of human evolution a body of spiritual knowledge and experience of which india has all, always been destined to be guardian exemplar and missionary this is the sanatana dharma the eternal religion under the stress of alien impacts she has all largely lost hold not of the structure of that dharma but of its living reality for the religion of india is nothing if it is not lived it has to be applied not only to life but to the whole life its spirit has to enter into and mold our society our politics our literature our science our individual character affections and aspirations many of you may, might have been bit surprised when dharma is being very much uh, what you say uh, deeply analyzed by uh, dr rtg what is the relationship between science technology and dharma see our struggle and a very life is being controlled and supervised and led by dharma only that dharma part which i have mentioned the swa of this great nation dharma is the swa or the selfhood of this great nation our fight against the imperial masters the colonial masters was a fight for establishing our swatva that's why indian independence struggle has been uh, defined and uh, what you say explained by maharshi arabindo da as it was a struggle for selfhood ye anek udaharano se humko bata sakte hai when sangoli rayana the chieftain of kithur rani chennamma was fighting he was saying that he is fighting for this soil which is my mother ye mitti ke liye ye mitti mera mother hai mata hai mitti ko matr saman dekhne ka tarika kiska hai vedon mein humne kaha hai mata bhumi putro ham prithviya ye prithvi mere mata hai उस विश्वास को हृदय में रखकर संगोल रायना ने युद्ध किया उस विश्वास को मन में रखकर वेलतंबी दलवा ने 19th सेंचुरी के शुरुआत में युद्ध किया ब्रिटेन के खिलाफ व्हेन ही स्टार्टेड हिज स्ट्रगल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ही सेड दैट आई एम रिजाइनिंग ऑल पोस्ट इन द डायनेस्टी ट्रावनकुर डायनेस्टी के किंगडम के चीफ प्राइम मिनिस्टर थे वेलतंबी केरल के ट्रुआंडर में उन्होंने ये सब रिलिंक्विश किया पहले ही that means he hasn't got any political interest at all then he distributed a proclamation named kundra proclamation he procl this proclamation was made and distributed from the place known as kundara so it is known as kundra proclamation in which he has clearly mentioned that these paradharmis are looting us so when we are talking about swadeshi concept we are all remembering about dada bhai navroji the grand old man who wrote about the wealth drain and all we are all thinking about ram singh kuka ji kuka uh, movement and swadeshi andolan we are all talk, thinking about the uh, anti bengal partition agitation vande matram agitation swadeshi andolan but years before that a person who uh, uh, was educated in the indigenous schools of uh, or vidyalayas gurukulas of travancore he came forward and said with actual accounts and he was saying they are squeezing out everything from us uppu mudal karpuram vare it was his prayoga that is from salt to camphor that means from materialism to spiritualism everything is being taken out of us so we have to fight another thing he said see if you are not going to fight against this paradharmis your temples will be decorated with crores your mothers and sisters will be ill treated on roads you were everything which you are you are yourself respecting will be distracted will be demolished before you so you have to fight what is the core content of that proclamation the swa is to be preserved protected another example i would like to say that is about the marutu brothers 
of Shivaganga. Marthu brothers were the Sena Nayaks of Velu Nachiyar. I have already mentioned about her. They also made a proclamation. I don't want to go deep into the proclamations part, but when Marthu brothers started fighting against Britain, Britain and our court Nawab, at Muslim Nawab, they made a proclamation and gave the name Jambu Deepa proclamation. They gave the name Jambu Deepa. What's the purpose of that? So everywhere you feel, feel I'm not talking about uh, Mahatma Gandhiji's Swadeshi concept. Yes, he used to recite that great sloka of Bhagavad Gita, Shreyan Sodharmo Viguna Sodharme Sodharme Nidhanam Shreya Paradharmo Bhayavaha. Shreyan Sodharmo Viguna Paradharma Sonishtitat Sodharme Nidhanam Shreya Paradharmo Bhayavaha. This is the core principle and inspiration of Swadeshi Andolan. So dharma is the great thing. Though it feels to be, it seems to be a bit inferior when comparing with others, but you shall not go after paradharma. It is suicidal. It is just as good as dying. It is very bhayavaha, frightful. You have to follow whether you have to face death even. You have to follow your own dharma. That is why I am talking about so dharma, so deshi. As Gandhi ji ne bhi bataya tha. In short, if you are seeing the real inspiration behind the Indian independence, Bharat ka Swatantrata Sangram, it was Swatwa alone. Swatwa alone. That was the real inspiration behind the Bengal, anti Bengal partition agitation. That is why we won in that great, great battle when for six years, 1905, May Bengal was partitioned. Our leaders, our Samanyalu, just like our Honorable Governor has said, we the people fought. Actually, in that struggle, there were no significant leaders. Important leaders were not there. There were no, uh, what you say, biggest party, nationalist party to lead it. We the people, with the, inspired by the swa content of this nation, fought against Britain, the mighty Britain. Our struggle leaders, who were there, they were not ready to retreat from the, that war ground unless and until the final victory was announced. In 1911, Britain was ready to retreat and nullify the partition declaration. Why it was a success, I have already said. The swa content was the inspiration. That is why one day Mataram became the synonym of anti-Bengal agitation uh, movement. Anti-Bengal partition uh, movement ka dusra naam one day Mataram agitation. Sodeshi agitation. Bharat Mata ko Hrdesh Thaan mein, Hrdesh Thali mein rekkar, wo yutha kiya tha. But what happened in 1947? I am coming to the final point. In 1947, when a state was divided by Britain, as a rehearsal to the coming total partition, they were defeated. Whole Bharat fought against British, this type of movement. Whole Bharat. Tamil Nadu se bhi Swatantrata Sankram ke neta log Kolkata mein jakar bhagini nivedida se initiated hokar bha wapas Tamil Nadu mein akar Swatantrata Sankram kiya Bengal uh, partition ke khilaf yutha kiya. That means Tamil Nadu and Karnataka and Uttarakhand and Kashmir and Gujarat participated in anti-Bengal partition agitation. Us mein bhaag liya. No single leader announced that we are old and tired, so we are ready for a treaty. Aisa kisi neta ne bataya nahi. Lekin aate aate 1947 mein humare bada neta loke aisa kaha, we are old and tired, we can't afford just another hour in jail. Who are you to say that? Who are you? Aapko agar nahi ho sakte hai, to is independence struggle ka mishal, dousre vekti ke paas ek a... You have to pass it on to the next generation, but it has not been done in 1947. Pure Bharat mein kyo agitation Iska content content One day Madaram has been banned from Indian independence struggle movements because one uh, fanatic leader who was the leader of the caliphate movement also became the president of ACC 
and he announced that one day matram shall not be sung in the congress meeting so the national leaders decided that one day matram has got some religious connotations so it shall not be recited in in independence struggle movement so it's an example several fundamentalist organization in the name of religion was started and a part of a group of uh, indian independence struggle leaders mainly congress leaders shifted towards anti nationalist vicharadhara philosophy in 1936 in 1936 lucknow mein acc conference hua tha and the president elected was none other than our first uh, prime minister he was at that time uh, congress president when he was say he was talking uh, he was presenting his presidential address i would like to request you to go through the, that presidential address in the first two paragraph he was just saying the credits the plus marks the positive sides of the russian led left movement and he was saying in india the nationalist movement and the revolutionary spirit has come down only improving and forwarding ideology is left ideology martian ideology that has been said only one all other blocks are receding all other blocks are coming down yes he is a very learned person he traveled elaborately all over the world he might have seen the progress of russia rus but i would like to say i would like to quote another gentleman another saint who was living in bharat at that time when he was asked about the communist philosophy the materialist philosophy he said that it is ek prakar se vaicharik drishti par agar dekha hai to wo apurna hai aur practical sense par dekha hai to dangerous hai but that saint never went outside bharat he never visited rus but sitting here in Nath, he said that professor guruji golkar ne bataya it is apurna darshan hai aur khatra khatarnak darshan aisa bata let it be but my point is the main leaders shifted towards a western leftist vicharadhara and many of the groups have started some islamic or religious fundamentalist movements and also the sotwa content which was very much active during even during the bengal vibhajan virudha andolan it has been diluted by using out vande matram no uh, not ready to talk about bharatamata concept and everything i am just saying that symbolic symbolically i am saying i am not claiming that one bharat mata se batane se sab kuch theek ho jayega it is just a symbol so this dilution of indian independence struggle and that spirit resulted in the partition of bharat nothing else so that was the main point which uh, uh, i would like to present before you that the sotwa was the uh, inspirational bindu or value another important factor pure bharat mein ladai hui maine bataya indian independence struggle was a pan indian movement a pan social movement is a societal movement samaj ke sab log usme bhag liya tha bahut sare log bhag liya sabhi jati varg ke log bhag liya tha agar aapko compare karna hai to agar aapko compare karna hai to sabse lambe samay tak ladai jin jin logon ne kiya वो तथा कथित बैकवर्ड कम्युनिटी के लोगों ने किया है संदाल एजिटेशन कितने साल तक चली कुरुचिया एजिटेशन इन वायनाड ए ट्राइबल कम्युनिटी है दैट वाज़ द लॉन्गेस्ट वॉर अगेंस्ट ब्रिटेन मोर देन टेन इयर्स कंटिन्यूसली वो फाइट किया पाइको रेवल्यूशन आई हैव ऑलरेडी मैं विद jagannath of puri as the symbol of that agitation they fought against them years ब्रिटेन के खिलाफ भील वंशजों के जो संघर्ष ये सब हमारे सामने हैं इसका मतलब पूरे भारत के तथा कथित पिछड़े जाति वर्ग के लोगों ने ज्यादातर संघर्ष कि आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट सेंग उच्च स्तरीय लोगों ने संघर्ष नहीं किया ऐसा नहीं सभी लोगों ने किया है महिला लोगों ने किया है बच्चे लोगों ने किया है इस प्रकार पूरे भारत के सभी समाज का प्रतिनिधित्व इसमें था अनदर इंपोर्टेंट फैक्टर ऑफ आवर इंडिपेंडेंस स्ट्रगल विच वी हैव टू Uh, again uh, memorize i we have to remind that is our response to britain was multi dimensional 
Britain or colonial masters ruled us multidimensionally. It was not, not just a political rule. They rule us through science. We are discussing about science. Science ko ek hathiyar bana ke bharat ke upar unhone akraman karne ke liye humare sotho ke vinash karne ke liye koishis kiya. How we have responded? Dr. Mahindra Lal Sikka, Sirka, he started Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science in the beginning of the 19th century. For the Swadeshi science concept and also when Dr. Chandrasekhar, the Nobel laureate, was asked by some of the journalists that why this 18th century, 18th century ke end me, 19th century ke shuruat me, both sare scientists came before Bharat, Bharat me, both sare log aye, Mandlal Sirkar hai, Jagdish Chandra Basu hai, uh, is prakar se PC rai hai, both sare log aye, saha hai. Ye kyo aya? Chandra Shekhar ji ne, Dr. Chandra Shekhar ne uttar diya, at that moment, Bharat Mata has to show that we are nowhere behind you. We are nowhere behind you in the science also. That was the spirit and the intention of our great nation. That's why it happened. So, in a typical manner, he unhone answer kiya hai, like it was a response. That's why that association was started. You may be knowing, Dr. C. V. Raman also good, got privilege, uh, both sare sahayata us association ke taraf se unko bhi mila hai. Both sare scientists ko cultivate kiya hai. Both sare scientific movement ko prerna diya us association. Jadish Chandra Bose, Prabhula Chandra Ray, all tried to prove that Indian self-food is great. It is to be preserved, it is to be protected, it is to be established. That's why Prabhula Chandra Ray, to show our, our scientific acumen, our scientific advancement, is ko show karne ke liye unhone likha, Bharat Hindu chemistry. Political science mein show karna tha, wo prakat karna tha. What was our political science? Bharat ke political science kaisa tha? Likha Kashi Prasad Jaiswal ji ne Hindu polity. Bho sare anya ganita shastra mein, yane mathematics mein, Bharat ka mathematics ka mahatwa ke baare mein, likha Vibhudi Bhushan Rai, unho ne pustak likha Hindu mathematics. Everywhere you are hearing Hindu. Hindu means Mandir mein jane walon ke mathematics aisa nahi hai. Bharat ke mathematics, Bharat ke science, iske liye sahi, swa se related, swatwa se related ek sahi shabd agar dena hai to oh Hindu hai. Isse liye wo prefix sabhi is pustako mein aapko dekhne ko milte hai. Indian film ke dwara humne respond diya hai. Dada sahib fal ke dwara. You may be knowing the father of Indian film. When he was seeing a new film in Bombay theater, he was thinking that why these Western images are shown here? Why not Bharatiya images being shown to the public? Why not Sri Krishna? Why not Harish Chandra? Why not Vasishta? Why not Kaliya Mardana? Isliye unho ne Indian film ke shuruat kiya. Mera kahine ke matlab, Bharat ke andar, multi-faceted, multi-dimensional attack karne ke liye Britain ne koshish kiya. इसका उत्तर मल्टी डायमेंशनल तरीके से हमने दिया इसलिए हम कहते हैं भारत के स्वतंत्रता संग्राम एक लैंडमार्क मूवमेंट था इट वाज अ लैंडमार्क मूवमेंट नो डाउट अबाउट दैट वी हैव फोर्ट इन ऑल प्लेन्स आवर एग्रीकल्चर दे ट्राइड टू डिस्ट्रॉय आवर एग्रीकल्चर दे ट्राइड ट्राइड टू डिस्ट्रैक्ट आवर थिएटर आर्ट एवरीथिंग इन ईच एंड एवरी फेस ऑफ लाइफ our people, our forefathers, our great Indian independent struggle leaders fought against them, responded in equal manner. That's why our culture is still existing. In the keynote address, Vinay ji has made a wonderful statement, Bharat hasn't got any full stops. Bharat ko full stop nahi hai, is liye hai, is prakar ke continuity kaayam rakhne ke liye, humare pura jo ne kaam kiya hai, sabhi chetro mein kaam kiya hai. Isko yaad rakhne ki aushakta hai. Bharat ke yeh 75 years, iske baare mein bhi charcha honne ki aushakta hai. When we are talking about the, what you say, the negative aspects of the education system of anything, but we are not saying 100% everything is wrong. We have achieved a lot. We have achieved a lot. 
in the space science, in the information technology, soft technology, everywhere we have advanced. There is no doubt about that. Especially for the last six, seven years, we are again thinking about our Atma, our Sutva. For the first time in the history of Indian, Indian freedom life, free life, after 1947, we are again hearing Vande Madram publicly. We, are start, we have started hearing Bharat Mata Ki Jai in political conferences. Iske pahle aisa nahi tha, abhi jo sunna praram kya hai. And now we are thinking about Atma Nirbhar Bharat. Gandhi ji, Neta ji, jaise logo ne humko bataya Bharat, Atma Nirbhar hona chahiye. Prayas kaha shiru kiya humne? Lekin abhi we are taking a positive turn towards the Atma Nirbharata. Self-dependent Bharat. Aisa banna chahiye. Iska bhi prefix dekhe, self. Hamare self se depend ho kar, hum aage bhatna chahiye. Ye aage bhatne ke saath saath, we have to take a pledge also. Ek sangalp lene ki aushakta bhi hai. Dekhe, Bharat kaham pahunchena hai. After 25 years, baan lijiye, 25 years ke baad. When our Honorable Prathan Mandri, Prime Minister was addressing young probationers of IAS, Indian Administrative Service, in Gujarat, before Sardar Patel's, Sardar Patel's, that Bada Murti, uske samne address karne ke samay, Honorable Prathana Mandri ne ek baat batai. See my young brothers and sisters, you are going to become full-fledged IAS officers by 2021, 20, 22. That means when Bharat celebrates, it happened two and a half, three years back, this speech. He said, in 21, 22, you are going to become the full-fledged IAS officers. You know, do you know the significance of 21-22? That is the 75th year celebration of Indian independence. See, our Pradhan Mandri is very much, uh, uh, he's expert in reminding us about that time. Kaal ko yaad karane wale sahi mein ek, uh, ek uh, ruler hai. Ache ruler, pita saman putron ko, santatiyon ko, kaal ke baare mein yaad dilane wala pita kalte hai. Ruler sahi mein pita saman hai, pitru saman hai. Unhone yaad dilaya ho young officers ko, you are going to become the full-fledged IS officers by 21-22. Okay? But remember my brothers, you are going to become the key figures in Indian administration when we will celebrate the 100th year of India, Bharat's freedom. Bharat ke swatantrata ke sau saal jab pura hote hai, us samay aap key figure banne wala hai, secretary songe, chief secretary songe, koi bhi. So you have to be very careful how you have to mold this land. You have to take a pledge that Bharat ko Vishwa Guru Parama Vai Bhavasthiti par Bharat ko le jane ka ek sangal palekar aap kaam shuru karna hai. Ye ek prakar ka this direction is for us old. We have to take this pledge when we are thinking or celebrating or participating in the uh, 75th year of Indian independence that we have, we all must work for the welfare, for the development of this great nation. Personally and organizationally, इस प्रकार का एक संगल्प लेकर हम आगे बढ़ने की जरूरत है भारत को उच्च सिंहासन पर ले जाना है पूरे विश्व के लिए भारत शक्तिशाली बनने का कारण किसी को नीचे करके दिखाने के लिए नहीं वी आर बिकमिंग स्ट्रांग फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ द नेशन व्हाई भारत हैज बीन गिवन दिस रिस्पांसिबिलिटी बाय द ऑलमाइटी दैट इज माय बिलीफ आवर बिलीफ कृणवंतो विश्व मारियम पूरे विश्व को श्रेष्ठ बनाने के लिए ही भारत पैदा हो गया है उस लक्ष्य को पूरा करने के लिए हम ताकत अपनाना है स्वयं आगे बढ़ना चाहिए समाज को आगे ले जाना चाहिए पूरे समाज को पूरे विश्व को खतरा मुक्त डेंजर से एक प्रकार से मुक्त करके आगे ले जाना चाहिए टीएस इलियट ने वेस्टलैंड ऐसा कविता के वो कविता के अंतिम पांचवा जो उनका जो पार्ट में सुबह तो आरती जी वो कहानी बृहदारण्य को उपनिषद का वो कहानी आपको बताया है मैं इसलिए मैं वो कहानी नहीं बताने वाला था टीएस इलियट ने उनके वेस्टलैंड में भी फाइनल कल उनका जो पार्ट में दैट कहानी बताया है वाई ही सेट सो इट वॉज अ कंडीशन वेन ही वॉज राइटिंग दैट पोएम इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द ट्वेंटीज इट वॉज जस्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर्स कैलामिटीज इट वॉज ड्यूरिंग द पैंडमिक करोड़ों लोग मर रहे थे पूरे विश्व एक वेस्ट लैंड जैसा बन रहे थे इससे बचाने के लिए एक ही रास्ता है एक ही रास्ता है ऐसा उन्होंने इशारा करते थे वेस्ट लैंड के द्वारा 
उन्होंने लिखा ए द प्रिंसिपल दया दमत्वम दानम ये तीनों आप लोगों ने अपनाना चाहिए उस प्रकार का संकल्प लेकर अपने धर्म अपने संस्कृति इसमें अपने मूल्यों के ऊपर स्थिर होकर आगे ले जाने की आवश्यकता है उसमें हमको प्रेरणा देने के लिए दोस्त फॉरगोटन हीरोस एंड हीरोइंस फॉरगोटन इंसिडेंट साइड लाइन टर्निंग पॉइंट ऑफ ग्रेट ऑफ और ग्रेट इंडिपेंडेंस स्ट्रगल इन लोगों के प्रति हमारे कृतज्ञता व्यक्त करने का एक अच्छा मौका हमारे सामने आ रहा है वी हैव टू रिमेंबर स्पेशली माय यंग जनरेशन सिस्टर्स एंड ब्रदर्स वी आर एंजॉइंग दिस फ्री एयर हैविंग दिस फ्री एयर हैविंग द स्मेल ऑफ द ब्लड फील ऑफ द स्वेट द टीयर्स ऑफ दो ग्रेट इंडिपेंडेंस स्ट्रगल लीडर्स द क्रांतिकारी सभी लोगों के खून पसीना और आंसू उसमें है वो सोचना चाहिए हमेशा उस कृतज्ञता पूर्ण तरीके से उनके जो याद दिलाकर हम आगे बढ़ना उस संकल्प लेने की आवश्यकता है नमस्कार जय भारत